world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident as you throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. These videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and each week we will target a specific item type. And at the end of this video, I will show you where you can find more in-depth videos to help make math your jam too. So our focus this week, the item type we will be working on is drum roll. Multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, everybody, here is our third grade problem of the week. It says, which shows 3,800 18 written in expanded form. Okay, so we're looking for which one shows expanded form. That's where we're stretching out the values of the number. Okay, so right now we have 3,818. This is word form. Okay, we need to write it in expanded form and you can see choices A, B, C, and D kind of imitate what expanded form looks like. The first step I'm going to take with this is to take it from word form and put it into standard form first. Standard form is the regular way that we write numbers. Okay, so 3,818. So that means that we need a thousands place and then we need 818, okay. So we have 3,800, so eight needs to land in that hundreds place, 800 and then 18. So this is the standard form of the number written in word form. Okay, we don't want the answer in standard form though. We're going to use our standard form answer to help us create the expanded form answer. So let's take the first digit, the digit three has a value of 3000 plus our next digit is eight and eight in this hundreds place has a value of 800 plus we have one as our next digit and that digit has a value of what 10 because it's in the tens place plus we have the digit eight and eight is in the ones place so it looks just like that Okay, so now that we have the expanded form, let's go look at our answer choices to see which is the best answer for this problem. So A says that we have 300 plus 800 plus 18. Okay, I see that the 300 right there, it actually needs to be 3000. So this is the part that makes it wrong. We can eliminate choice A. Choice B, we have 3000 plus 80, but that 80 should be what? 800. Okay, that's what makes it wrong, so I'm going to eliminate that one. Okay, next we have, for C, we have 3,000, that looks good, plus 800, that looks good, plus 18. So there we did not fully expand the 10 plus the 8 that is still pushed together, still 10 and eight is 18, so technically this is our best answer choice so far, but we need to make sure that we also investigate choice D, so let's do that. We have 3,000, that looks good, plus 800, that's true, plus 80. Wow, okay, so 80 kind of sounds like 18 a little bit, but 80 is much different. It's a greater value than 18. So that is what makes it wrong. So the best answer, even though right here with 18, it was not broken into 10 plus eight, technically this would still work as our best answer here to make it choice C. Okay, all right, so go ahead and make sure that you fully bubble that one in and that is our problem for today. All right, everybody, this is a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards for math. And just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and your students. So make sure that you check out the links around this video for more info. Okay, cool. All right.
Before we go today, students, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You have to put in the effort. I believe in you, and I cannot wait to see you next time. All right? Bye!